What's up guys, Johnny May here from Piano with Johnny, and today you're gonna learn everything that you need to know about the key of G minor. Now, you're gonna learn the three G minor scales, which we call G natural minor, G harmonic minor, and G melodic minor. And if you wanna be comfortable playing in the key of G minor, you really need to know all three scales. We're gonna talk about the correct fingering for the right hand, for the left hand, and strategies for practicing. So how do you make it nice and smooth, and how do you play it accurately? Next, we're gonna talk about about the most common chords that you're gonna find in the key of G minor. There are 10 chords that you really need to know. So I'm gonna explain these chords to, to you, how we form these chords. And then we're gonna talk about chord progressions, meaning what are the most common chord progressions in the key of G minor. And lastly, I'm gonna teach you an original funky blues tune. It is called Funkalicious. It is a super fun song to play. Check it out. teach you the melody, the chords, we're going to talk about how to come up with this funk groove. And at the very end of the lesson, I'm going to teach you also how to improvise over this progression. So there is a ton in this lesson. Buckle up, you got a lot to learn. Now in this preview lesson, you're going to learn a portion of the course, and you can find the full length course at pianowithjohnny.com. So let's go ahead and get started. All right guys, let's talk about the key of G minor, okay? You're going to be learning a ton. We're going to be talking about the scales, the chords, you're going to be learning a really fun song, but the first thing, guys, the most important thing, whenever you're learning a key is you gotta know the scale, because all the chords come from the scale, and usually the melody notes in the key of G minor will use melody notes from the G minor scale, okay? So we're gonna start with that, uh, talk about the fingering, and you're gonna learn all three scales today, because remember, every minor key has three different scales, natural minor, harmonic minor, and melodic minor. So you're gonna be learning all three today. Okay, let's start with the first one. This is the most basic minor scale. We call this the natural minor scale, okay? Uh, we'll start with the right hand and let's go ahead and play it. Here's the G natural minor scale. Okay, so before I teach you this scale, let's just talk about the notes in the scale, or, or rather the key signature, which determines the notes in the scale. And in the key of G minor, we have two flats in the scale. We have a B flat and an E flat, okay? You may notice that this is the key, same key signature for the key of B flat major, okay? These are called relative keys. The key of G minor is a relative key to the key of B flat major, meaning they share the same key signature. The only difference is the key of G minor starts on a G, the key of B flat major starts on a B flat but they have the same notes. They're called relative keys. By the way, the way to find a relative major or a relative minor key, let's say you wanted to start on G, let's say you're playing in G minor and you said, hey, what's the relative major key? Well, you just go up three half steps. One, two, three, that's the relative major key, B flat. And let's say you're playing in the key of B flat major and you say, what's the relative minor key? You go down three half steps and G minor is the relative minor. Okay, let's learn the G natural minor scale, okay? Start with thumb on G. Well, by the way, we're just up here above middle C. Middle C is the red dot, okay? And we're just gonna walk this up. G, A, B flat with middle finger. Now you're gonna cross under to your thumb on C, okay? And then we're gonna go two on D, three on E flat, four on F, and pinky on G. That is the G natural minor scale. Let's do it once more. G, A, B flat, cross under to C. Then we're gonna go D, E flat, F, and G. Okay, what you're gonna to wanna to do is get nice and comfortable with this, crossing under, playing it nice and smoothly, connecting all of the notes. Make sure you've got this nice cross under here to the C is nice and smooth. Okay. Also, make sure you're sitting up nice and straight. You want to have good technique, good position when you're practicing, so make sure you've got nice posture. You're not slouched like this, right? Sitting up nice and straight. Uh, shoulders are nice and relaxed, elbows to the sides, and the elbows should be relatively level with the keyboard, okay? Uh, nice curvature of the fingers. Uh, as I say in most of the lessons, you need to have curved fingers in order to cross under the fingers 
Okay, so never have flat fingers. That's really, really poor technique. Want this nice curvature of the hand. Okay, also if your wrists are bent up like this, you're probably sitting too low. If they're bent down like this, you're probably sitting too high. So nice level. Okay, so G minor, practice this coming up and just work on speed. And you can just jump down each time and work on that smoothness, okay? Uh, that's coming up one octave. If you wanna come down one octave, start on pinky, use all your fingers coming down to C, and then cross over finger three to B flat, and end on G. Okay, that's G minor coming down. We'll do it once more. Finger three on B flat, and then you end on G. Okay, so you can practice that a number of times, getting nice and comfortable with that motion. Okay, be sure to lean the wrist to the left. Really, really important that your wrist sort of leads in the direction you wanna go. You wanna have nice smoothness in your wrist. You don't want your wrist to be tense. If you're feeling like they're real tense, relax the wrist. You can do like this. You can even sort of turn your wrists like this, but you wanna have this nice flexibility, this looseness in your wrists, okay? All right, that's the G minor skill. You want, and then what you wanna do is work on speed. So take it up and then down. And then up and down, okay? And each time, try to go a little faster. Okay, now this is not a lesson on speed. We, we can do that in other lessons. This is a lesson on understanding the key and understanding the fingering for this key and understanding the chords and how to play in the key. Okay, let's move on to the left hand, guys. You learn the right hand G natural minor fingering. Let's talk about the left hand fingering, okay? Here's the left hand scale. Okay, so we're starting on the pinky on G. This is the low G here, bottom line. By the way, we've got the lesson sheet uh, available right here. Uh, this is available uh, for download uh, for our members here at Piano with Johnny, okay? And um, I've got the fingering above all the notes. This is a great reference. If you're not sure which finger to use, well, there it is, finger five, that's our pinky, okay? Um, okay, so we're gonna go pinky on G, ring finger on A natural, uh, third finger on B flat, C, D, using all of our fingers, and then cross over finger three to E flat, F, and G. That's the left hand fingering. Do it with me again. Walk it up. All the fingers. C, D, E flat, finger three, finger two on F, and thumb on G. Okay? Get nice and comfortable with this. Coming up with a crossing over to the third finger. You want it to be nice and smooth so when you cross over, you don't hear a gap between those notes. A lot of beginner players, you'll hear a gap. You'll hear like, gap between those crossover, cross under points. So you want that to be smooth and connect them as much as possible, okay? That's the G minor scale coming up. What about coming down, okay? Well, same fingering coming down. We go G on the thumb, F on the index, E flat on the middle finger, cross the thumb under to D, and we finish down the scale. That's it, guys, okay? So you wanna practice this, get this nice and smooth coming down. Speed it up gradually. Okay, and what you want to do now is play the scale going up and down, okay? So you might come up like this, and then instead of repeating the top note, just take it right down. Okay, and then now you can come back up, and now we're doing the full octave going up and going down. And same thing you did earlier, you want to work on increasing your speed. Make sure you have very good hand position. Notice that my fingers don't ever go flat, okay? Nice elevated wrist, super, super important. If you wanna have good technique as a pianist, you wanna be able to play more complicated passages, this technique is very important, that nice curvature of the hand. So make sure you have a good position, you're sitting up nice and straight. Okay guys, that is the G natural minor scale in the left hand. You can play the hands together if you would like. It's a great way to get really comfortable with the scale is try it in both hands, okay? It just becomes a little tricky knowing where to cross over and where to cross under, but that's something that you can try as well. Great way to learn the scale, but guys, that is the G natural minor scale. You wanna get nice and comfortable. 
Hey guys, thanks for watching this preview course. If you want the full length course, you can find it at pianowithjohnny.com. And if you enjoyed this course, we have lots of other courses where you can learn the key, learn the scales, the chords, an original song. Uh, we also have hundreds of other lessons in jazz, blues, improvisation, uh, technique, fundamentals, and we have lessons for all playing levels. Also, check out the Piano with Johnny membership. This gives you access to all of the video courses, um, hundreds of sheets, uh, we also have the Piano with Johnny community, which is a private community of piano players uh, here to encourage and motivate you along your journey. Uh, we do live events every single month. We do a Q&A, we do a workshop. We're constantly adding new content to the membership, so be sure to check that out. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next course.